Welcome back, Joe. Here we are today on the 10th LP for the new Newcrest. And today we will be aging up the Bartley home. And this is where the grandpa lives with his two grandkids. Grandpa, come there. Hurry up, Grandpa, because the kids also need to go to the bathroom. All right, are any of these, okay, this one's not busting to go, so what he can do is come and get some leftovers, because he is hungry. Because oh, he's in your way, it's okay, you're hungrier. Come and do it now. And you, you can, you can go to the bathroom right when you're done there because Grandpa's done in there. Yeah, you can finish eating after. What's Grandpa going to do? Grandpa, you and the kids need to come out here and do some serious gardening because uh, Grandpa has a special living he makes here, but the kids can take care of these weeds. This one can weed over here, and Grandpa can come and spray the area for bugs, and he can harvest all his other vegetables. I don't know if the kids will have time to do so much weeding before school, but... At least they can help out, get things started. Look at everybody there doing their little gardening. Aww. Everybody helping out Grandpa. Alright, so let's get these kids to school, make some more friends, come back, and age them up when they come home. And the kids are off to school. So I uh, realized that I had not retired Grandpa. I did go ahead and retire him. Um, and he's just going to stay home and do a little gardening today wait for the boys to come back. He's just enjoying a little early morning cigarette to celebrate his retirement. So it's the end of the school day. One of the kids made one additional friend. That's it. So I guess that kind of answers my question as far as this whole sending them to school. I guess if they have a few friends, they're only going to make one more, maybe. And if they have enough of them, it's not going to do anything, apparently, where I'm at. So here are the Bartleys back from school. And this is Damien Bartley. And boy, I guess he didn't have a good day at all. And where's Houston? How you doing, buddy? All right. All right, here we are after school, and the kids have aged up. I'm just having them meet one extra kid from the new section. This is Joelle Bynum. She lives with her teenage sister on the other side of Newcrest. And here are the boys just getting to know her. My friendships are good. Now the... um. One thing I did forget to do in the other household was to get Kane Barber an after-school activity or job. So let's see what the boys choose. All right, so for Damien, Damien's kind of the pretty boy. Um, he likes looking good. He is a laid-back kind of guy. He is a bit of a slob. So, 
No, I think he'd be a good football team member. And uh, Houston... Let's see, for Houston, he's more like the down-to-earth guy. He's active. I don't know. He might be the slob. I might have gotten them backwards. So let's see. If the other guy's on the football team and he was looking all cute, maybe uh, Houston could be hmm. a computer team. No one's joined the computer team. Looks like he could do that. So the boys do have their activities. What is this? What? Oh, even more plants here. There's so many harvestables on this property. Of course, Grandpa's here watching his plants, making sure people like Yumi Uchida don't take his vegetables. Yeah, man. You know what, just do one big grand gesture and, you know, their friendship will work out. So all is well here. I still ha am having troubles having them stand here and fish. They still try to go around over here for some reason and they will play in the water here, but I really don't know how to fix it anymore. So everyone here is all good. So that is it for the alternative living section of the new new crest. This area here is Definitely ready for the future of Newcrest as they feel that this is what Newcrest really needs to be in the future. All right, Joe. Well, thank you so much. It's been so much fun doing these tours. Next, we will actually start our 11th LP for the new Newcrest.